Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you're awkward and got my six, mean to have my back because I have yours. Yes, I have been going back and forth, MIA. I'm actually starting to finish up things that I started last year. I'm kind of very proud of myself, but it took for me to pull back my energy and to work on these things because it's all about completion these days. And so I'm going to pull from the sacred signs and symbols, the honest love tarot, and I don't know the name of this deck, but there you have it. I'm going to pull from that to see what the energy comes out. This card wanted to stay collaboration. You could be collaborating with people moving forward, and that is a part of completing things. Yeah, there's a coach. And there's external love. So coach is here. It says advice. And it came out kind of unsure. Advice, obedience, and knowledge. And the collaboration says backup, unity, and enhancements. And that is uh, external love kind of came out unsure. It says uh, eternity, consistency, and soulmate. So something about that. And there was endings here. You had to end things and start something over. That makes sense, right? Um, you had to end things and start things over in order for you to see things in a different light. And the endings are bring always bring new beginnings. So, you know, when it comes to certain situations, you have to not be unsure about your power and about dealing with predators, people who take your energy. You have to kind of be able to get out of there because, again, same thing, unsure energy, pride, ego, and strength. If you pull that if you're dealing with people that who is in their ego bag and it causes you to be unsure of your power and your strengths, you have to start looking at things in a new perspective and therefore, yeah, clarity, unsure. You have to start looking at things in a new perspective and go from there. Yeah, but you got to stop, and this is in the reverse, your energy. You got to stop being there for everyone and stop thinking that you could save the world because that kind of came out um, like in the reverse superhero um, you got to know that you are not invincible. You cannot pour from your cup if it's empty. And therefore, when it comes to you replenishing yourself, the collaborations happen by you understanding what it is by learning that love and um, being able to be teachable and also, um, you know, teaching others about how to collaborate and how to actually love you comes to an end when you've already, re you know, tried to do this and people don't recognize your strength and your power and you know go going from there so again you have to seek clarity when it comes to and being be discreet you could be dealing with somebody that wears dark shades but you have to end these energies of you know you being discreet discreet and incognito when it comes to how you feel and how your feelings and how you want to be loved if that makes sense so i'm going to pull from the uh, honest love tarot deck to see what comes out but yeah you are learning the difference between collaboration with people who uh, make you feel less than, yeah, that you have to bend reality for. So you have to slow things down and stop bending reality for these type of people that make you, uh, yeah, fear moving forward or make you fear love, you know, because they're not able to see what it is. So they're, you, they're operating in shadow. They're operating um, instead of seeing your light. They just see all the negative things about them. And so, therefore, you have to, again, that's because they're in this dark shade energy, the incognito, discreet, and they don't really care. The answer is yes. So the universe says we should slow down. Yes. And you, ha you have to stop bending reality for people. Does that make sense? Because I think it makes sense to me. But, again, I'm going to pull from the roasted iconic oracle deck to see what comes out. I keep saying I'm going to find the name to this other deck. Anyway, let me just say really fast, I didn't tell you guys to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I don't think I did. Um, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. I did notice that there a lot of my um, subscribers have been unsus unsubscribed. And um, I even on my other channel was unsubscribed. Yeah, a troll and land back. Yeah, so you're taking your energy back because that all came by came out sideways kind of yeah feral cats <laughs> you're ending the incognito feral cats which which are alley cats does that make sense so you're ending the trolls and you're taking your energy back but at some point you were unsure about how to do that so unsubscribe and resubscribe check check the notifications because again it pushed me out of 
um, um, of the subscription. And so they it automatically unsubscribed me. So I don't know. Maybe you guys should check that. So I'm going to pull from the situation deck. We're going to get a little bit more into it to see what the situation was when it came to why this person is the way that they are, why they are afraid to um, kind of be seen or show their eyes. And in, you know, also why you had to end things, you know, because again, they're the alley cats. And the answer is, yeah, yeah, bounty hunter and obsession. So um, now this person is upset with, obsessed with you and they're searching for you. And uh, again, social media, fake profile and hiding. So this person, this, this alley cat is watching you and they're obsessed with you. They're looking for you because you removed your energy. You ended things. And therefore, what has to happen now is that you have, you have gotten on with their selves, but have they gotten on with their lives? And it doesn't seem like they have because now they're searching because you denied access to them. That's where the ending comes in at because they were not willing to build with you and they were like trolling um, with negative energy, if that makes sense. And they didn't believe in you, Oracle energy sideways, you know, and because you had to bend reality, they're operating in the shadow, uh, in the shadow phase. And so that has nothing to do with you. You just had to move forward, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from hmm, how to win at love. I think that's what this is. Hold on. Hold on a second. I think this is how to win at love. Oh, no. This is the the traits. This is the archetype and the traits. Hold on one second. Yeah. But anyway, um, let me go ahead and talk to you. I am going to start posting three times a day, um, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and um, I think 5, I think it's, no, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so that you guys can get um, – my videos and I'll go ahead once I make uh, the decision I'll put it up um, in my page but again unsubscribe resubscribe so this is an experiment this powerful person man woman uh, it was very karmic and so it says trying different ways to find love figuring out what um, they want out of love keeps an open mind when dating this is their type of experience but remember a feral cat does that somebody who doesn't really want to show and they're wandering from one place to another and always incognito and discreet on their love life, but they're powerful. And so it says a mature, decisive, and potential leader helps partners grow into their full potential. They love an intellectual challenge. So uh, this could have been you or this could be that person, but again, it's an experiment, but that the whole bottom line is that this person is karmic. Going through a karmic cycle, they bring out the worst in their partner. They're in a karmic relationship. So that is why you, I think this is your energy. You were in this karmic relationship and now they're obsessing and trying to find you because they realize the unexplainable pull that they can't resist when it comes to you. So I believe that that is what you needed to know when it came to this energy. Hold on, let me pull from, this is it right here, what I was looking for. Yeah, this is the karmic, karmic twin flame. This is not the one I was looking for. Karmic twin flame and soulmate deck. I'm going to go ahead and pull from this to see what comes out. Yep, awakened fears. So you awaken their fears. It says your worst fears are being awakened, such as rejection, abandonment, loss, or commitment issues, and bringing out all the skeletons hiding in your closet. This is the karmic energy. So, yeah, this person is very karmic. Bottom of the deck is unawakened. Yeah, so you they were unawakened at first, and it was an experiment to them. But again, alley cats, now they're watching you on social media, because they t the universe did to end it, yes, end this. And so that's what you did. And so your twin is not ready to accept the connection and rejecting this love because of the parameters of the conventional world. And so that is why they were so discreet incognito and they thought that everything and everybody that they came across was an experiment until you removed your energy from them and they realized that even though they can be powerful, you were the one who challenged them and now they're obsessed with you because again, they wanted you to bend reality for them, but they, why they lived in fear and you, you know what I mean? It's like taking your land back, your power back, and also, you know, having clarity that you can't save anybody that's not willing to save themselves. You can't be anybody's superhero. That is why Superman comes in uh, the reverse and you can't collaborate or have any kind of love with the person who is not really ready to love themselves and or you. And so you awaken their fears now, and now they're searching for you. 
I'm going to, yep, pull from the four agreements. Yep, don't take anything personal. You had to learn to send strength and healing to this person, you know, um, and move forward. It says your truth is your personal to you. So, again, how you felt, this person felt, what could have been totally different. They're just unawakened. They're not ready to be in this situation until you have to remove yourself, work on your energy, and work on the things that you want to do and move forward. And, you know, sometimes not pay them any mind. And that's why they can't find you. You have to cut off all communication and move forward. And if it's meant, it's meant. Your own own opinions and points of view is reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It is no one's truth but yours. So, you know, as, as powerful as you thought this person was and how much you thought you can awaken this person, they're karmic and they aren't, un, they're unawakened. And they always are going to want you to bend reality for them in fear of, you know, wanting their cake and eating too, like a feral cat going from one place to another. Does that make sense? And so there you have it. If you want to know about the four agreements, I'll put the link up above and also the crystal deck. I'm going to pull from that, learning the chakras. And so, yeah, there you have it. You guys do me a favor if I said it, um, if I didn't say it, which I think I did. Subscribe and unsubscribe uh, in order for you to... Um, uh, get the notifications and click the notification bell because they have been unsubscribing my followers um, for a while now and I just haven't had the chance to get up here and say it. So anyway, the golden tiger eye and the solidite. The solar plex third eye chakra, it says protective creativity and balance. It The affirmation is I am filled with warmth, warmth and light. I am filled with warmth and light and then the solidite is the third eye and throat chakra guidance intuition and focus you have to focus on yourself you cannot awaken somebody who is unawakened and you cannot collaborate with people who are not willing to collaborate who only see you know certain energies you know that you know they only want a union with themselves you know and not with you you know what i mean and so until you bend the reality and leave there they'll not recognize what you bring to the table and so that's kind of how i see that so guidance, intuition, and focus. It says, I am guided by logic and intuition. I am guided by logic and intuition. So let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love and I miss you guys.